deep in the Welsh Valleys, there's a new motorsport being tested. But there's no sound of a roaring engine. Just as the coal mines here have been replaced by something greener, this 550 horsepower SUV is 100% electric. And behind the wheel here in Nice, a Formula One world champion. The bumps it goes over. Suspension... Jensen Button will lead one of 10 teams in a new race aimed at highlighting environmental challenges. We're racing in five different locations uh, around the world, uh, all, all locations that have been really affected by climate change. Um, and I'm, it's, it's, you know, it's about bringing awareness. There's a lot of personalities involved in the sport in terms of the drivers in it, but also the team owners. You know, you've got Nico Rosberg's got a team. Um, Lewis Hamilton's got a team. There's Ganassi from the States. You know, there's some big teams racing, and this brings a lot of awareness to those areas that we're racing in. The Extreme E Series will feature races in Senegal, Greenland, Brazil, Argentina, and Saudi Arabia, with all teams made up of a male and female driver. Some of the biggest names in motorsport will be getting behind the wheel of this car. And while it is a competition, the organisers say they have a clear environmental message. Hauling hundreds of tonnes of racing cars to the edge of the Amazon or the Saudi deserts carries a hefty carbon footprint. To reduce it, former cargo and passenger liner the St Helena will transport them to areas most hit by climate change and ocean plastics. In Senegal, for example, I mean, the, the, the beach plastics there, the damage that is being caused by man, you know, it's really sad to see. I was there two weeks ago on our recce and just walking along the beach, just miles and miles and miles of just discarded single-use plastics. We want to change people's you know, image of that and we want to be able to uh, tell a message to, 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 to stop using beach plastics in that way, you know, the effect on the environment that it has. And we are going to be racing right there. For Jensen, this new race has pushed him closer to switching petrol for battery power for his own car. It's bad, I know, but I love the sound of, a, of an engine. Um, and, uh, yeah, I know this is the future, it really is. You look at the stock of electric vehicles or electric company manufacturers of electric vehicles on the road and they're going crazy. It is the future and it's the future that we need. Um, so yes, uh, I, I will go electric. I just struggle with the sound a little bit. It may sound different, but the speed is certainly there. The first race sets off in Saudi in April. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Neath, South Wales.